Today we're talking about camera remotes and how you can back yours up in case you drop it in a river. Now we've all used infrared camera remotes before. These allow you to activate your camera from a distance without touching it. Very, very handy. But what if you lose these or break them? Well, obviously you can get a replacement or maybe download an app to your smartphone that will allow you to use your smartphone as a remote if it has an infrared emitter or if you buy an attachment or make one. But what I want to suggest is something that's less expensive and preventative, and that is to take your original remotes and teach those signals that are most important, namely shutter and record on and off to a learning remote. Now, learning remotes are very common in the home theater world. This is mine. This is the Nevo C2. And with this, is I can learn any signal from any remote control and store it in this remote and put those signals on any one of these buttons. Very, very handy. But this is overkill for cameras because these tend to be more expensive and they're bulkier, obviously, when all you need is something like this to throw into your camera bag. So I want to suggest one of these, which is an inexpensive learning remote that has only eight buttons. I got this for $3.50 on eBay, and with it, I can take the signals that I want to learn and place them on any one of these buttons here. The process is very simple, and here's how you do it. So here's your two remotes. Here's the third-party remote that I use to control my Sony, and here's the Chung Hop learning remote. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the Chung Hop in learning mode by holding down the set button until I get a solid light on top. That means it's ready to learn. So I'm going to teach it the record start stop signal by holding down the record button for a couple seconds until I get a blinking light. Then I'm going to let go. Now this learning remote is waiting for me to assign that signal to a button. So I'm going to go ahead and assign it to the channel down button by holding it down until I get a solid light again. And that's it. I can go ahead and teach as many signals as I want to this learning remote until I'm done. And when I'm done, I hold down the set button until that red light turns off. And then I'm ready to test it. I really like these learning remotes. I like the low cost. I like the big rubbery buttons. I like the fact it runs on two AAA batteries instead of a button cell. I like the fact there's some kind of battery-backed memory inside. So if you switch the batteries, it will still remember your learned signals. I also discovered that this has more power and range than even one of my original remotes. So if you have a remote with a weak signal, teach it to this and those signals will be amplified. I know this only has eight buttons, but I had no problem teaching the most important functions of two remotes to this remote. And that's my tip to give you cheap insurance and peace of mind for your infrared camera remote collection. If you like this video, please come to thefrugalfilmmaker.com for more. And thanks for watching.